Hi guys, I'm Melissa. I am a registered dietitian and welcome to my channel. So today I thought that we would talk about New Year's resolutions. It's the second week in January. It's starting to get around that time when we all need a little bit more motivation to stick with our New Year's resolutions. Today I wanted to talk about five different ways to stick to your New Year's resolution or even just tweak your resolution a little bit to make it more realistic and make it something that you can stick to and make a habit throughout the year. Tip number one is to make your resolutions measurable. So a lot of us have resolutions like eat healthier, lose weight, work out more, which is great. Those are great ideas. Those are things we all want to incorporate into our lives, but those aren't measurable things. How are you going to eat healthier? How are you going to work out more? In order to make a goal reachable, you need to have numbers or specific ways to reach those goals. So if you want to eat healthier, maybe you're trying to eat two servings of vegetables each day, or you're trying to eat breakfast every day, or you're trying to eat dessert only twice a week. Something with a number in it so that you can actively work towards that goal. For exercising, maybe it's working out three days a week, or maybe it's going on one run every week, or something that you can know in your head that you've achieved that goal. Tip number two is to set realistic goals. All of us want to lose weight, all of us want to work out more, eat healthier, but if you're not realistic, then you're just setting yourself up for failure. So if you're like me and you have a major sweet tooth, saying that you're going to cut out all sugar and never eat dessert again is not a realistic goal. My goal this year is to eat dessert twice a week, which is actually really hard for me, but that is more realistic than saying I'm cutting out sugar altogether. The same goes for exercise. If you're coming from a place where you don't exercise much at all, saying that you're going to exercise five to seven days a week is not really a realistic goal. Instead, try starting with maybe three days a week. That way, that's something that you can actually achieve and you're not going to push yourself so hard that you only do it for two weeks and then you're so tired that you just completely stop. The same goes for weight loss. I know all of us want to lose a little bit of weight, but you shouldn't go into the new year saying, I'm going to lose 20 pounds right off the bat. Because realistically, you're not going to lose 20 pounds in a month, and you shouldn't. That's not healthy. So setting your goals to, I want to lose one to two pounds a week, or a couple pounds in a month, is going to be a lot more realistic than just saying, I'm losing 20 pounds. Tip number three. Stay organized. This could probably be the hardest one, but I really think it's very important. Staying on top of meal planning and workout schedules is a really important part of reaching your goals. I find that if I go into the week having no idea what I'm going to eat all week or having no idea what my schedule is going to be like, a lot of times I will end up eating not so great or only working out a couple times. Instead, I find it really helpful to sit down normally on like a Sunday night and just make a little plan of what I'm going to eat. I'm not saying like eat one cup of spinach and eat, you know, very specific things, but making a little plan so that I know it's by the grocery store, I know what I want to cook in advance, and just so I have an idea of what my week looks like is really helpful. Same goes for exercising. Look at what your schedule looks like that week and realistically plan out where you can fit in a workout. And if you have a really busy day so you're going to need to work out in the morning, that's something that you want to know ahead of time rather than getting to that day and saying, oh, I just realized I can't work out so guess I'm not going to do it. Like I said, this is not full-on meal prep or something like that. It's just making a plan so that you have something to stick to and that way you're going to be a lot more likely to actually do those things. Tip number four, balance. Balance is really important, especially when you're trying to make some serious 
healthy lifestyle changes. I think a lot of us think that we're going to just quit eating junk food, cold turkey, and that's just going to be that. But that's not really how it works. If you're restricting yourself too much, you're probably going to end up falling off that healthy wagon and eating a lot more than you would if you just allowed yourself some treat foods every once in a while. I'm not saying that you need to eat healthy all week and then have a cheat day or something like that. I'm saying if you're craving chocolate, have one little piece of chocolate. It's not going to kill you and that's going to help you stay on track with everything else if you just let yourself have a little bit of that thing that you're craving. So keeping that balance between incorporating these healthy habits into your life but also letting yourself enjoy food and not restricting yourself so much that you end up just quitting altogether. And finally, tip number five is to have fun with it. You're not going to stick with something if you hate it. So find a friend to work out with you so that way you can have fun together, talk while you're on the treadmill, take a class together, find a class that you really like. Not everyone likes just running or just going to the gym but maybe you like yoga or Pilates or bar class or maybe there's someone on YouTube that you really like working out to. Just make sure that you're having fun with it because if you're not having fun then you're not going to stick with it for very long. Same goes with healthy eating. Find a friend you can cook with or find food that you actually enjoy cooking rather than something that's a chore. And find healthy foods that you actually enjoy eating. Not all healthy food is boring and bland. So finding those things that you actually enjoy are really going to help you stick with your resolutions. Well that's all I have for today. I hope that this helps you stick with your resolutions and stick with keeping those healthy habits in your life. If you liked this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for lots more food and nutrition related videos coming soon. Bye!